Alright, what is going on YouTube? This is Gavin2102, aka Gavin Lady. I apologize if um the quality is a bit iffy because my iPhone 6 was charging and the quality, not the quality, the storage on it's all messed up. I don't have any storage on it anymore. So I gotta get rid of some stuff, uh, check out what I have, and then we'll be back to the good camera. Um anyways you guys, so I got nine fi I told you in the Baron Corbin video I was going to show you the haul of figures I got for Christmas. Um, um, so what I uh, got, I got nine figures for Christmas, 11 in all, because I got two figures a couple days before Christmas that I bought for myself. So I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas again and the people that celebrate Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to you guys. So um, first we're going to start off with the figures I got the uh, other day. First, I got a basic series Braun Strowman. It's a pretty good face scan. I like the figure overall, so it can complete my um, Wyatt family, although he's not in the Wyatt family. I'm thinking about getting, uh, there was an Eric Rowan mask sheep on the internet, and I can get it for like uh, like 50 cents, I believe it was. You can get it one for like 50 cents, and I was going to get it painted black. So uh, I was thinking about doing that, so overall this is a... Cool Braun Strowman figure has the tattoos detailed on them. The only thing I don't like about WWE figures is that as soon as their figure gets released, they change their attire. I swear they do it on purpose. Like, I just hate that. And uh, So it's a pretty good head scan for when he first debuted. So there's that. The next figure I got the other day was this Basic Series Dolph Ziggler. One of my favorite head scans. Uh, one of my favorite Dolph Ziggler head scans. Uh, I added these elbow pads on because I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, the only flaw with this is that I'm going to have to paint black. Uh, I might not, but I might. I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of the part that says Lana. And I'm getting a paw, uh, because this was the first, his first tights. These were his first tights before he started wearing tights. This was his first pair. And, uh, this is from when he was with Lana. I'm thinking about making this wrist tape, uh, switching the arms and making them white. Because I like those to go with white tape better. I might not, though. But, um, yeah, the only flaw with this figure is that I think they should have added like blonde highlights in his hair because he's not all brown but anyways yeah that is a this is my favorite figure that i got and i'm thankful that i got it and i might switch this onto my custom so there's that figure the next figures that we have i got these guys for christmas last year but i had to uh what did i do i got first of all i got brett the hitman heart i got this one last year but the thing I did differently was I uh, cut the top of the hair off. I cut these little strands that were over his face and I got rid of the knee pads. So now I'm going to keep this one the way it is and uh, not change it up at all and put this one on my shelf as well. So I got that one last year. So there's that. And then the figure I got last year as well is a Bo Dallas figure. The reason I'm getting a new Bo Dallas figure is because I was making a custom. And then I believe... Something got spilled onto uh, my Bodales custom and it got ruined. I was making a Bodales custom from when uh, his first run in the WWE was. So, yeah, I don't like this gimmick. I like this old gimmick and the feud that he had with Wade Barrett a couple years ago in 2012. So, yeah, I liked that gimmick and I was trying to make a custom. But now I'm going to know to leave this one alone because I don't want to risk ruining it again. So, Bodales. Uh, th these were, uh, I heard that these were actually pretty cheap too. You can... Uh, uh, after Christmas, they might be almost as cheap because these are all, uh, older figures. So, yeah. The next figures that we have is a battle pack. The first one we have is Aiden English and Simon Gotch of the Vaude Villains. What I like about these figures is that it comes with the megaphone. You can actually go up right to their mouse. I like, I like the face scan of both of these. This is Aiden English. I like the face scan. Only thing I don't like is that these are actually painted on. I wish they were like gauntlets like the Roman Reigns and the Simon Gotch figure. So that like they would slip like and move. But yeah, there is the Aiden English figure. And then here's the Simon Gotch figure and here's what I'm talking about. He actually doesn't have molded on uh, he, his actually aren't painted, they're actually molded, and like, if you were to take the hands off, you could just slip them right off. So, I like this face scan as well, and I also like that it comes with this, like, weight belt thing. The only flaw I don't like about it is that, uh, you cannot take it off. Although he wrestles in it, you can't take it off, so, I think that it should, like, it should have come so you could take it off. The only way for you to take this part off is to cut it, so, yeah. Um, so, there are my vlog bones. The next battle pack I got which was probably my most exciting new favorite, was John Cena 
and Kevin Owens from their United States Championship feud. I wish that this came with an NXT Championship. It came with the United States Championship. What I don't like about it is that the United States title isn't like uh, shaded in to look like the actual title as it comes with in the Elite Packs. So, yeah, I got that John Cena in his blue attire. So, there's that John Cena. I like the face scan. The face scan's pretty cool. I just don't like how they put him in khakis now. So, there's that John Cena. And then here's the Kevin Owens. I really like this Kevin Owens face scan. It's really good. Uh, but some reason, I want you guys to leave in the comments. If you guys have a Kevin Owens basic figure from this battle pack, does his waist twist for you guys? Because I can't make the, I, his, look. Like how these guys twist all the way around like that. This Kevin Owens is completely stiff. It doesn't move around. And neither does my uh, Finn Balor Elite either. That doesn't move around either. I got that last year for Christmas. And that doesn't uh, move around either. Because I do take them out of the case just to check and see if there's anything wrong with them. Because once I had a Cesaro figure that uh, I got and it was broken. So that's why I check them. So this Kevin Owens is pretty good. I'm not going to snap it because it's locked in place. So if you guys have this Kevin Owens figure, leave down in the comments if your guys' torso is locked too. I don't know why mine is. And the next two figures that I got, I just got because uh, family just left. Uh, I got Zack Ryder. This is my second Zack Ryder. I have Zack Ryder in his longer pants from like when he was like the jobber back in like 2013. This is, uh, I believe, this is similar to, it's not his WrestleMania attire. I believe maybe it was... I don't know. If you guys know this attire, leave it down in the comment section. I'm kind of curious what this attire is. I especially don't remember this part from the back. So if you guys remember what attire this is, uh, let me know in the comment section below. So I really like the knee pads. It has uh, his decals and his logos on the knee pads. So yes, this is a good Zack Ryder. I really like this one. Uh, my favorite one over the one in the tights. So there's that one. And then here's my last basic figure, which I'm really happy got. I got a basic Sami Zayn figure. Sami Zayn, great face scan. Uh, I like his pants. You can do everything with this figure. Except, like, the only thing I don't like is that it's not elite. But you can do the Huluva kick with this figure. Although I don't play with my figures. I just put them on a shelf. Um, it's still pretty cool to be able to do that. I really like the boots. I'm happy that they didn't just get lazy and put the black boots on them. So, I really like this figure. And the, the final figure I got was the elite that I got. So... Here is the Elite that I got. Bubba Ray Dudley. It comes with two pair of glasses, and then it comes with a table in the back. Yes, I already did check and make sure everything was in it and it wasn't broken or anything. I did check inside, sealed it back up. But, um, yes, this is a phenomenal figure. Uh, my favorite figure that I got almost is... I like this a bit more than the Dolph Ziggler figure just because it's an Elite and it's way better. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hang this guy up on the wall. Uh, so there we go for that one. And I'll put those guys on the shelf. So if you guys like this video, I need you guys to like this video. Favorite this video. Share this on every social media platform that's humanly possible. Go pledge me on Patreon.com. Check out my Patreon awards and link in the description below. And do me one last thing. And definitely smash that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Love you all.